Welcome everyone, today we'll be doing a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to place stop-loss orders within Thinkorswim. We'll be specifically going through the steps of adding a stop to your current open positions, as well as how to attach it to a brand new trade that we haven't even opened up yet. Let's go ahead and begin by adding a stop to one of our current open positions, and in order to do that, we will be specifically navigating to the monitor page, and specifically the activity and positions tab. Here on this page, we can actually see a list of all of our current and open positions, our open orders, and just get a breakdown of how we're actually doing in the account right now. Coming over here and using this American Airlines position as our example here, here you can see I currently have 100 shares of stock and I originally bought them for $16.49. Unfortunately for me, it is already down to $14.89, so at the moment I am down about 160 bucks. Now it might be a little bit late for this one, but let's say we wanted to put a $14 stop on this position. Basically saying if American Airlines continues a drop and it eventually hits $14 a share, get me out of the stock because I don't want to lose any more money. In order for us to actually create that stop, let's go ahead and come over here to the actual symbol and just go ahead and right click on it. For those of you out there using a Mac or a laptop, you'll need to either use two fingers at the same time or hold down the command button and then click. That should count as a right click for you Mac users out there. But once we actually do that, you guys will see a little pop-up window appear over here on the right hand side, giving us a whole bunch of options, a whole bunch of different things we can do. But all we need to do is come over here to where it says create a closing order. You'll then see another little window appears to the right hand side with a few different order templates that we could use. These are really just used to help you along. So we could either click on the very top line here and then adjust it in the order ticket to a stop order, or we could just come down here and select the one that says with a stop. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one with a stop. You'll then see that clicking on that immediately took us to the trade page and then down here at the very bottom of our screen, we can actually see that order ticket to close out of our American Airlines position. We'll then be able to specify how many shares we actually wanted to attach the stop to, set the activation price that we wanted to use, and then we could specify how long we wanted this order actually good for. For this example, I am gonna leave it set as the entire position, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as 100 shares here. Next up, we'll go ahead and set the stop activation price to $14. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this number here and type in 14. Again, saying if American Airlines ever drops down to $14 a share, get me out of here automatically. You'll see right above that $14 activation price, it actually says market here. And that's the type of order that'll go out there whenever my stop activates. So again, basically saying if American Airlines ever drops down to 14, put out a market order to sell my shares immediately. You could come over here to the right hand side where the order type is and go ahead and click on that. And then you could change it to a stop limit order, a trailing stop order, or a trailing stop limit order. But I'm not gonna be getting into these different stop order types today, but this is how you guys can flip it over if you need to. Now finally, the very last thing I'm gonna do here is actually flip over the time and force box, which is currently a day order only. And I'm actually gonna flip it over to a good until cancel order or GTC. So now this order is gonna work continuously for me. It'll go out every single day until it actually fills, but hopefully it never fills to be honest. From there, now that I'm happy with everything, we will simply come down here and select the confirm and send button. That'll bring up an order confirmation. We'll just make sure everything looks right. Since it does, I'm just gonna come over here and hit the send button once again, and now our order has been placed. To check on that, we could come back up here to the monitor page and then focus on the working order tab. Looking here, you can see that order is a working order to sell 100 shares of American Airlines at our stop activation price of 14 bucks, and it is marked as a good until canceled order. To edit it from here, we would simply right click anywhere on the order ticket and then either say cancel slash replace to edit it or cancel order to just outright cancel it. We could also do that right from our charts page. So let's come up here and activate the charts tab. Coming down here towards the bottom of our chart, we can actually see that stop working. It's this red horizontal line with this little kind of red bubble right here. We could actually adjust it right from here by clicking and holding down on that bubble and then dragging it up or dragging it down. So right now, if I were to let go right now, it's gonna adjust my stop activation price down to $13.68. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and let go here. You can now see this new order to replace it at 1368. And if I wanted to submit that, we'll just come down here and hit send. 
but that's going to be one of the ways to place a stop on your current open positions. Doing this on a brand new position is going to be a slightly different process, and there are a few different methods for doing this. Before diving into an example, let me go ahead and flip over to a different stock ticker. We'll come up here and throw in Twitter for this example. Then from here, one way to do this is by simply coming up here to the current price of Twitter, $38.14, and just clicking on that number. You'll then get another little window of a bunch of different options of things we could do, but we'll simply come down here to where it says buy custom, and then we can see a few of the templates over here on the right, whether those be the ones that Thinkorsome has made for us or the ones we've made for ourselves. For this example today, we're actually going to use one of the Thinkorswim defaults right here, and I'm actually going to select the one that says with a stop. Clicking on that will actually build out the order ticket automatically for us down here at the bottom of your screen, and you can actually see down here we have two separate order tickets. The first one that we see here is actually to buy the stock, and then once that one fills, it's actually going to activate the second order ticket, which is going to be our stop order. To verify that, I could come down here to the lower left-hand corner where it says advanced order, first triggers all, which again just means that first order has to fill to trigger the next order to go out there. So going through a quick example here, we can first begin by placing our opening trade, and in this case we're saying we want to buy 10 shares of Twitter at $38.16. Let's actually say I wanted to adjust that and I only wanted to open this trade, I only wanted to buy these shares of Twitter whenever it drops down to $34 bucks a share. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a limit order, and I'm actually going to change it from a day order to a good until cancel order. Now that we've got that opening trade filled out, let's next move on to the second order ticket, the stop order. And looking here, we're going to go ahead and leave it to close out the entire position, so 10 shares. But in this case, we're going to flip it over from a stop activation price of 33 bucks. Let's go ahead and set it at an even 30. I could also come over here to where it says a day order and flip it over to a good until cancel order. And that could be it. I could simply come down here and hit confirm and send and actually place this order ticket. And again, what I'm saying is I first want to buy these shares of Twitter if it ever drops down to 34 bucks. Then if that order actually fills, if I'm actually able to buy those shares for 34, I automatically want to stop to go out there at a stop activation price of 30 bucks. Now, another cool thing you guys can actually do is create templates for yourselves if there's something you're going to be doing quite often. So in my case, let's say I typically like to put out a stop 10% below whatever the price is that I buy it for. So if I wanted to do that, I could actually come over here to the right of the word stop and click on this little chain link icon. That'll then open up a little window over here on the left hand side, which now specifies a trigger rather than a manual price. So now I'm basically saying I want the stop price to actually be based off of the opening trade. And in this case, right now it's hard to see, but at the moment it says negative $4. What we're actually going to do to flip this over to a percentage amount is come over here to the plus or minus icon and click on that two times until it becomes a percentage sign. I'm then going to come over here to where it says negative four and actually type in here negative 10 instead. So now what I'm saying is whatever price I buy these shares of Twitter for, put out my stop 10% below that price. In my case, I think I'm gonna use this quite a bit in the future, so what I'm gonna do is come down here to this little floppy disk icon and actually save this template. And I'm gonna go ahead and rename this thing. So let me go ahead and delete out all of this text here. And we'll go ahead and name it 10% stop here. Once I go ahead and save this, I'll actually be able to use it on all of my future trades. So let's say we were instead opening up a brand new position on, let's say, Meta, M-E-T-A. If I were to come up here to the current price of Meta and go ahead and click on that, then come down here to where it says buy custom, we can actually see the template that we just made, the 10% stop. Now if I were to click on that, you'll actually see the order ticket gets built out in its entirety for us down here at the bottom. So right here it's saying I want to buy 10 shares of Meta at the current price, and then whenever that fills, put out a stop 10% below that. So it did everything for me automatically. I don't have to really do anything except maybe change this opening price that I want to buy Meta for. So I could adjust it down to 165. And then I would simply hit confirm and send if I actually wanted to place this. So to see what it looks like on a chart, let's go ahead and submit that. And again, now you can see that opening trade up here as a green horizontal line. And then the stop order that'll go out there after that opening trade fills right here 10% below that opening price. 
But hopefully that answers all of your questions about how to place stop loss orders within Thinkorswim. If I did miss something or you guys have additional questions for me, please drop them down below. And also if you guys did find this one helpful, you guys might wanna check out some of my other Toss tutorial videos. I've really covered just about everything you guys could possibly ever wanna know about Thinkorswim. But really that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.